Hey everyone. The bitch is back. What a wild ride we've been on. And who, of course, is at the forefront of announcements? Marvel, the MCU specifically. They continue to impress. Uh, and everybody else is just trying to play catch up. Even though I thought last year was really progressive and the year before that was really progressive and they've just been doing a lot of things that have, um, in my mind, been kind of woke. They've outdone themselves because they have announced a slate of films that not only have strong female leads, it's about time, but also film properties that used to have strong male leads that have converted. They've changed. Who's familiar with the superhero Thor? Hmm. <laughs> I think I know his, I think I know him. Um, Khaleesi, um, he's played by Chris Hemsworth. Thor's played by Chris Hemsworth. Who? No, he's not, shut the fuck up. Thor's a woman. Sounds like you need to bone up on your Norse mythology because what you're putting my way is horse mythology. Meaning, Horseshit. It is true, Christian Hemsworth used to play Thor, but those days have come and gone, and now we have a new lady. That's right, lady. Sorry, guys. Women can play Thor too. You may have heard of her, the queen, the legend, Natalie Portman. Yeah, Jane Foster, one of the greatest characters in the MCU, right next to Carol Danvers. So deep, so complex, so much character. She's gonna be carrying the hammer. She's gonna be carrying the hammer of justice. And I know what some of you haters might be thinking. This is bullshit. Thor is not a woman, Thor is a guy. It's established. That's his name. No. I mean, yes, but no, that doesn't have to be that way. There was a comic line that everybody loved and that was super successful where they did the same thing. And and, 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 even though the comic line was super fucking successful and had a lot of character development, the movie's not gonna have any character development because Jane Foster hasn't been seen in like 10 years. I thought Natalie Portman was done with the character because where was she at during Age of Ultron? Doing science stuff? Where was she at during Thor 3? Broken up with Thor? Where was she at during Infinity War and Civil War? Gone. And then she comes out wielding the hammer and I was like, what? <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Marvel, for once again understanding it's all about who you put in the role, not so much how you develop the role. And that, that's what movies are now. And I love it. I think it's great. I love it. It's great. Speaking of the gift that keeps on giving, Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, they're making a sequel, Captain Marvel 2. Just when you think it couldn't get better, it gets better. They're making more of them. I hope they make a million more of them because honestly, it's still my favorite. Sorry, haters, you lost. Let me put it in a way that makes sense for everyone. Thor being a woman makes as much sense as James Bond being a woman. There you go, it's cleared up. The news of Thor, Love and Thunder is what it's titled. And the news of Captain Marvel 2, I'm not sure it has a, a full title yet. I assume it's gonna be called Captain Marvel 2, I could have beat Thanos by myself, or Captain Marvel 2, I'm the first Avenger, even though Nick Fury never called me once during all the attacks on Earth. I don't understand why we can't just make new characters for women, like they're, do, do like women's rights people and activists really think, oh cool, we're, we're, we're taking a male character, we're, we're making him a female character in the future. Like, isn't that more condescending to say like, this woman isn't strong enough to have her own film that was crafted from the bottom up. She has to take over a man's franchise. I just don't get it. It's so dumb. Thanks for watching. The future is female. We'll never see a male character turned into a female character. That's not how these things work. And I'll catch you next time. Nerd alert! I'm Khaleesi Grimes 82 and you just watched The Cringe. I hope you loved it as much as I loved making it. You know what else I would love? If you subscribe. And I am super pumped to see you in the comments. It's been enough time yet. Can I stop smiling? I hate all these people. <laughs> Can you hear me?